Hello, everyone. Hi, you guys. I am Cassandra, and I'm with a Pecan Porch Boutique. And tonight, I thought I would um, do a late night live. So, um, this is my first live. Um, and so, um, you know, if, if anybody is up late at night like me, and you'd like to join me for this live, please jump on and do so. Hi, Lorencio. So I'm trying to figure out how to pick myself up on this, um, on my iPad here. Anyway, um, so tonight um, I am going to be um, giving this board here um, a facelift. I found this board at Goodwill. And um, so um, I'm going to be kind of making it over, kind of giving it a facelift. So, um, so I like to find these at Goodwill because, you know, they're really cheap. So I think I got this one at Goodwill for like, um, $3 maybe, maybe three bucks. And it says some of our greatest blessings call us Nana and Papa. That's sweet. So no offense to Nana and Papa y'all, but I'm going to be redoing this tonight. Um, so, um. We're going to start doing that. So, if you guys if you guys are up late at night like I am, I'm up late at night and usually all I'm doing is watching TV. So, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to do my live tonight. So, so we're going to get started and we're going to give this board a facelift. And so, my plans are to uh, give it a coat of paint and then add uh, some uh, transfers. So, um, again, my name is Cassandra and I'm with Pecan Porch Boutique. I live in Texas, small town, and um, I am a retailer for uh, DIY paint and um, Iron Orchid Designs and also um, Paint Pixie Brushes and Roy Cycle de Decoupage Papers. So, okay, so let's, let's get started working on this board. So, I think I've decided the first thing I'm going to do, um, again, I, I, re I, I retail these uh, paints. Um, and I really like them DIY paint because they're thick and they kind of work with my style of painting. So we're going to give this uh, board a makeover as we talked about. And I'm going to start off with water lily. It's this really pretty bluish kind of color. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with that. And usually I don't dip my brush into, um, can you guys see this? Hopefully. It was hard for me to try to figure out how to set the camera up so that, you know, so that you could see. So hopefully you can see this. So we're just going to kind of give it a good coat of this really pretty water lily. And we're going to cover up Nana and Papa. Sorry, Nana and Papa, but we're going to go ahead and cover you guys up. with this really pretty color. So if you guys, if there's anyone on, um, you know, um, just say hello and, um, you know, tell me where you're watching from. And I know it's really close to Christmas, but I'll be honest, y'all. This project that I'm doing right now don't have nothing to do with Christmas. Sorry. So, 
But I do recognize that it's close to Christmas and probably a lot of people are probably wrapping presents or, you know, getting ready for the holiday. But me, nope, I'm home painting a board. So we're just gonna get the paint on here. Again, this is a really pretty color. It's called Water Lily. Can you guys see that? It's real pretty, kind of a bluish color. And just get it completely covered up, even around the edges. And I'm using my um, I'm using my paint pixie brush. This is the Believe 12. It's one of my favorite brushes, y'all. I like this brush. It's pretty much my go-to brush for all my projects. Now, one of the things with paint, and especially this paint, because I've had it for a little while, I don't have much, but one of the things that you want to do with your paint, um, if it starts to get thick, you just, um, and I'm using my uh, Miss Mister sprayer here, and I'm just going to spritz it a little bit, and it kind of just uh, loosens up the paint and kind of makes it move, move a little bit better. When your brush starts to pull, that kind of lets you know that um, you might need to add a little bit of water. And you guys, anything that you see me use tonight, you can find it on my website at um, pecanporchboutique.com. Okay? So, so we've covered up Nana and Papa. And now we have this really pretty blue board. And what I'm gonna do before we move on to the next um, layer is I'm gonna go ahead and um, give it a little bit of a dry. And this is just a little hot air gun. And actually y'all, I just got this. I got it on Amazon. It was really cheap. I think I paid like 14 bucks for it just so I could do these crafts so for the um for part of the process that I'm going to be doing on this board it needs to be dry so I'm just going to try to get it dry. Hopefully y'all can still hear me over this. It's not very loud, but. And it, will, it shouldn't take that long. It's getting there. If you guys, if you guys have jumped on to watch me, um, just type me in a little message and tell me what you're doing for the holidays. Dorothy, hi, Dorothy. Hi, Jasmine. So I'm almost done, you guys. I'm just trying to get the paint dry so we can kind of move on to our next step. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's dry enough, and we pretty much covered up. And this is just one layer, um, y'all. I'm not going to put on um, two layers on this one. I'm just going to leave the one layer on for time's sake. Um, but what I'm going to do next um, is I am going to take some of my... Um, I'm going to add a top coat. So with the chalk style paint, you need to add a top coat to it um, to seal in the paint. So tonight I'm just going to be using um, some polycrylic. And I just picked this up from Walmart. I'm going to be using some polycrylic. And, and I like the polycrylic because it's in the matte form. And so i um, just going to put a little into these little cups. And I, I keep my uh, polyacrylic and some of my paints in these FIFO, FIFO bottles. Um, and these little cups I get at um, the Dollar Tree. Because they're small, handy, and, you know. And they only cost a dollar. I think you get 12 of them. So that's a good deal. Okay, so I'm just going to put some top coat on here to seal my paint in. Make sure that I, did I get all that over there? I didn't even get the rest of that over there. So I'll go back and get that. But for time's sake, we're just gonna go ahead and put this top coat on. And again, with chalk style paints, um, they need to be sealed. So I'm, I'm using the polyacrylic tonight to seal it. To seal it up and the reason why I'm using uh, the polyacrylic uh, because I do retail the um, the DIY big top again I, I retail DIY paints and so DIY makes uh, what's called big top and it's also a top coat um, but um, it's more of a satiny finish and for this board I don't really want the satiny finish I want the um, I want the matte finish so that's why I'm using the polyacrylic for the mat. Okay, I just got that on there, and you know what, y'all? I just got that on there, and I just realized that um, I can still see the words that were on this board. So, um... I'm going to have to add another coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this up real quick and then I am going to add another coat. Hey Rose, how's Colorado? So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this up because I'm gonna to have to add another coat of paint um, because I can still see the, the, the writing that was already on the board. So here we go you guys, hopefully this won't take but a minute. Rose House, Colorado. Are you guys having fun yet? There's a lot of snow there with you. As long as y'all keep that snow up there, child. Don't bring none of that snow back, Rose. Do not bring the snow back. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get this kind of dry, and then I'm gonna actually have to add a second coat because I can still see the writing that was uh, on the board when I started. So, okay. Rose, you're never coming back to Texas. Seriously, Rose? Come on now. You got to come back. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with my water lily, and I'm going to add another um, a layer of paint, which I really should have did in the first place, but I was trying to take a shortcut. 
And you can go back and add paint over um, over a liquid top coat. Um, the only thing is, is that you can't, um, you shouldn't, if you put wax on top of something, and wax is another way to seal your chalk paint, if you put wax on, you, um, you should not uh, really go back and paint over wax, because wax is usually the final step. But with a liquid top coat, you can go back and um, paint over which is what I'm doing. So the second coat should get should take care of the writing that was on here. And, we sh and once I dry it again, I should not, I, hopefully I won't be able to see that. Okay. Okay, in this case, I don't think we're going to need a third time, so second time is a charm. Ro Rose, you're funny. You say you're going to find you a snowman for a boyfriend and take him to Texas. Girl, he going to melt. You know he going to melt down here, don't you? Don't do it. He will melt. All right. So I got the second coat on, and I think... We're good for hiding those letters that were under there. So I'm going to take my little hot gun here and dry it again. So Rosa, you guys up there through the Christmas holiday? Y'all staying through the holiday? Anybody else traveling for the holiday? Doesn't look like I am, does it? Colorado last year, didn't you? Are y'all staying at the same place? Or did you get a different place this year? y'all we're almost done I know this is like watching paint dry literally because you know you're all watching paint dry but to um for uh, the next step or the step after the next step the paint definitely will need to be dry. All right, y'all. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. It's, it's uh, called uh, Water Lily. And, and honestly, y'all, I can still see a little bit of that writing, but not too much. So I'm just gonna go with it. Now put some more of the top coat on. And one thing about the top coat when you put it on, again, the top coat is used to seal the paint in. One thing it does is it really brings back that real rich color of the paint. Um, and I'd like to see that. And this is a really pretty color. 
and get a little bit more of my poly acrylic here. And to put on my poly acrylic, you guys, I'm using my uh, Paint Pixie uh, brush. It's the Dream 8. And it's so little and, you know, it's, it's, it's not too little. It's not too big. It just kind of fits really good for this size project. So... Okay. I can't even see that side, so hopefully I got everything over there. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to go with whatever, whatever it is. Okay. So that's that. And I'm going to dry it, dry this up. So we can move on to our next step. And again, the reason why I'm drying this is because um, when I get ready for the... Hi, Charlene. How are you? So when I get ready for my last um, or this next step, Everything needs to be really dry or else it won't work. It doesn't really feel like Christmas to me. Does it feel like Christmas to anybody else? One thing about working with um, with this polycrylic, you guys, you have to be really careful because it will puddle up on you. Um, so always go back and check to make sure you don't have any drips or anything. And if you do, go ahead and catch those. Because this polycrylic, um, it's really good, but if you don't watch it, it will kind of clump up in spaces. So make sure you, you are really uh, spreading it out with your brush, you know, really good. Hey, Jazzy. Thank you. Yeah, this is a real pretty color, huh? Hey Jazzy, I saw you were making some chocolate things and I saw it on your um on your page. And I need to put my order in. I just I didn't see how to put my order in on your on your Facebook page, so so make sure you let me know how to do that so I can uh I can order some. Because you know uh, the word chocolate. That's my code word for eat. And I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to. Charlene, what you cooking for Christmas? Cause, uh, speaking of eating, but you know I'll be over there, right? Okay, this is almost done. I'm just gonna make, try to make sure I get it as dry as I can. Some of it kind of slipped down into some of these little holes here. Okay, Jazlyn, I will. I'll inbox you.
Okay, you guys. I think that's pretty dry, except for right over here. Y'all, I got all kinds of things plugged up in here, right? I got my hot air gun plugged up. I got my light plugged up. I got the camera plugged up. So if I blow up, somebody please call 911. Let me get right in here. The whole work, Shirley. Okay, you know I'll be over there. I think this is pretty dry, y'all, but I'm going to tell you. I really want to make sure it's dry because if I don't, this next step that I do, I'm going to be in trouble. Hey, Tammy. Hey, cousin. Hey, my sister's on. Hey, sis. Welcome to my late night live, y'all. I don't have nothing else to do at night. And I be staying up, y'all, like I'm young. I am not young. I need to have my old butt in the bed right here. Okay. Hey, cuz, I'm redoing this board here tonight. This is one of my Goodwill finds. So I'm, I'm trying to give it a little bit of a facelift. So right now I'm trying to get the um, my paint dry so I can do my next step. And I think it's pretty dry. I hope. I'm gonna do it one more, one over, one more over you guys. Tammy, you, girl, you know I need to be at home sleep, child. I need to be sleep right now. I need to have my old self in the bed sleep. Oh, Chris, I'm drawing with um this little hot air gun that I got from Amazon. Um, can somebody please go to Amazon and um and take, uh, tell them to take my address off of their uh, address list. Because I could repaper the whole, um, my whole house with Amazon boxes by flattening them out. Okay. All right, y'all. So we got the board now. We got a good color on it. Um, again, this is Water Lily um, by DIY. So we got the color on. I think it's pretty dry. So our next step is, I'm gonna put on some of these um, Iron Orchid Design transfers, and this one is called uh, Painterly Florals. It's really pretty, so. So um, I, I do retail these, again, I retail these, and you guys can find all these products on my website at uh, pecanporchboutique.com. Um, and and uh, recently, Iron Orchid Design Iron Orchid Design switched to this uh, flat uh, packet of uh, transfers. This is their transfer, one of them. Um, they used to come in the twos, but they switched it to the flats. So, um, so we're doing flats. Yeah, these are really pretty, y'all. So this is kind of what they look like. Can you guys see these? They come in this big sheet. I don't know, it reminds me of something when we was in school, like the big, I don't know, the big book or something. Anyway, it has all of these uh, different types of um, flowers on here, sunflowers, and it also has some, and you get like, I mean, there's a lot of them. You get like 12 in a sheet. I mean, 12 sheets in a, in a pack. It has some of these little flowers in here. So we're going to take um, some of these flowers and we're going to add them to our board here. Just kind of give it a little pizzazz. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this little, um, with one of these sunflowers here. So, and, um, so these are transfers, you guys. So basically the way they work is they come on this grid system. You can see the grid lines on here. Can you guys see those? Try to get away from the glare. Can you guys see those? It comes on the grid. It has grid lines on it. And the, uh, the, the, the grid, the top part is the grid, and underneath is this paper lining that uh, keeps the top part, which is the transfer, it keeps it um, laying down so that the stickiness of the transfer doesn't come off. So you want to make sure that when you are, um, you know, using these, that you keep that paper backing on there until you're ready to um until you're ready to use it because if you don't it will it will stick somewhere or the stickiness will come off and you won't be able to you you won't be able to use it anymore so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut off this top this top little um sunflower here and that's one of the good things about these transfers you can cut them off you can uh, save pieces for later on. You can, you know, you can use the whole thing if you want to. Whatever you want to do. So I'm going to start off by just taking this one here off of the grid. And just like this. And uh, so I cut it off and then I'm just going to leave the rest in this pack. Um, for the moment. So I took it off. I took it off the pad that it came on. And again, you can see there's this grid, this grid line on here. It kind of helps you keep, uh, keep things aligned and keep them straight. And, um, underneath there's this paper backing that, that you want to make sure that this stays on to, until you get ready to put it on whatever it is that you're going to put it on. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this, we're gonna peel it off of here. Peel it away from the backing. And all of the Iron Orchid transfers comes with this little stick. It's a little burnishing stick. And basically burnishing, that just means rubbing it down on here. So, um, so we're gonna take this, make sure, and oh, and that's another thing. You have to make sure that um, whatever surface you're adhering it to is dry because the one thing that these transfers don't like is they don't like anything wet. They don't like wet, wet don't work for them. Okay, so I'm gonna take it. And once you place it down, you kinda have to commit to that placement. So make sure you get it where you want it. Okay, so if you can see this, I placed it on my board. There it is right there. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my little burnishing stick, and hopefully this works. And I'm just going to start rubbing it on. And, and what I do usually is I take my, my uh, burnishing stick and I rub over the whole thing first. And then I start to kind of peel it back. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Let me see. Maybe I can come up some. So I'm just brushing it on here. But as I'm pushing it down, I'm also peeling back the edge. So I'm pushing and peeling at the same time. So I'm pushing it down and I'm peeling back the edge. And again, one of the things you want to make sure is that your um, your surface is dry. And if you don't like, say for instance, you're you're burnishing it down and you don't like 
like maybe some of it didn't adhere, just lay it back down and try again. Try pushing it back again to get whatever didn't stick, you know, stuck on that time. And so again, as I'm as I'm pushing, I'm also peeling back. And sometimes you might have to go a different direction if, if it's if it seems like one one side of it isn't going to come off. Maybe try to push down a little bit harder. There we go. And there we go. We got that one down, you guys. Isn't that pretty? So, and then what I like to do is um, I like to take my the, the sheet that it came off of and just kind of ball it up and kind of um, go over it to make sure that it really sticks down to the board. And there we go. Hi, Don. How are you? And there we go. It's really pretty. I love sunflowers. Okay, so. And then we have all these other choices on here. So many darn choices. And I think I'm gonna go with um, I think I'm going to go with one of these sunflower um, heads and um, so I'm just cutting it off. Again, you can just cut out what you need. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. If I can cook. one I got a couple of leaves there I'm gonna go with that one I'm gonna add those kind of toward the bottom so if y'all haven't ever tried these these are really 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 fun it's kind of like you know the only thing is that I really wish they would make these sticks a little bit darker because a lot of times when I lay them down, I can't find them anymore. Okay, so I'm going to take this one now. It doesn't have a stem. So I'm just going to kind of put it down toward the bottom of the board. Just to kind of make it seem like it fell off. Maybe it fell off. It fell on the ground. So I kind of put it down on the bottom here in this bottom corner. And can you guys see what I'm doing? And again, once you lay it down, you kind of commit. So I'm going to put it down at this bottom corner here. It's out of the way. And again, I've already, I dropped it down there. So once you, once you put it down there, it's kind of stuck. So um, you can't peel it up, then you'll peel part of it off. So you, once you get it in the place that you want it, make sure you have it in the place that you want it. And then from there, um, you're going to, you're gonna start to burnish it down again with this stick. And so again, I just like to kind of rub it and I just kind of like to go like all over it first, like over the whole thing and give it one big rub. And 
And then from there, I kind of like to um, start peeling it back from the edge. So I wanna, I'm gonna peel and and press at the same time. And on these, um, the ones with like the little limbs and stems, you kind of have to almost get to the point of it first, and then kind of go down toward the fatter part of the of the of the leaf. So I kind of start on the edge of the. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully you can. Um, just kind of start on the edge. Burnish it down. And when I say burnish, y'all, that's just a that's just a uh, a word that just means press it down, get it stuck onto whatever it is you're trying to stick it onto. When they first started saying burnishing, I was like, "What? Burn it? I have no idea what they was talking about." You know, we from the country. I was gonna say push it down. So I'm just gonna push it down on here. And as I'm pushing, I'm peeling, and occasionally I will peel it up, and my transfer will come up with it. So in that case, I just lay it back down, and I just start over. I start, you know, pressing down again. It's real fun too, you know. It's kind of like I don't know. It reminds me of something we should do in school. But I was in school a long time ago, so I'm not really sure what that is. Hey, Monica, how are you? And occasionally I have to kind of peel it up from another direction when it seems like it doesn't want to come down, come off on one side. Okay, so there we go. We got it down. And again, I just kind of fold up this little paper that it was attached to. And I just kind of rub it to make sure that it, it's, it really uh, gets stuck. And so there we are. That's the second one. You guys see that? Aren't those really pretty? I love the, I think this transfer is probably, no, I ain't gonna say that because I got two or three favorites, but this is one of my favorites right here. Okay, so I got this one as well. I'm gonna take these leaves off. For now, and again, see how you can just cut these apart and use the pieces that you want. So I'm gonna use this little sunflower here. I'm gonna put it, and you can also, you can layer these, you know, you can, you can put them on top of each other, um, you know, kind of however you want. I think on this one, Where should I put this one, you guys? I kind of wanted to, I think I'm going to put it. Kind of right here beside the other one. Just to kind of give it a look like it, you know, like some of them fell on the ground. And again, see, that's what I'm saying about that stick. Where did I put the stick? And I just had it because it's clear and you can't see it. And so, you know, it's like I'm chasing it all night long. And I know I just put it down. Oh, did I put it over here? No, where is the stick? Seriously? 
I know it's right here and I can't see it. That's the only thing that I wish that they would do is I would, ah, see, right here under my board. I wish they would make these sticks a different color because the clear, you can't really see them because they're clear. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to do it all over again. I'm just going to um, rub it all over first. And then I'm going to start from the corner. And as I uh, peel up, I'm going to continue to push down. Can you guys see that? See what I'm doing? As I peel it up, I'm going to continue to push down on this. Especially on the edges first. Make sure I get all the little tips of the leaves on here. Cause those are the ones that tend to get left behind if you don't if you don't push those on down and again you can overlap these with one another you know you can um you can put a transfer on top of a transfer. One of the things, though, about these transfers, sometimes they do take a little bit of patience. And y'all, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not real patient, but I've, I've kind of learned to be. Because the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to mess it up. Because... Because then you'll be like... So just kind of going in different directions. Sometimes if it acts like it doesn't want to uh, peel up from one side, you kind of go to the other side and start over there. And I'm trying to make sure I get all these little tips down first. And then kind of come toward the middle. And there we go. Okay, and again, I'm going to take this little sheet that it came off of. I'm just going to kind of rub it down to make sure it's down. And I'm sweating. Okay, so there we go. Try to get away from the glare. So we got two fallen sunflowers and then the one sunflower over here. Okay, so one of the things that I want to add um, to the board, I want to add um, one of these little, um, I think I want to add a little bird. I'm going to add this little bird. He's kind of flying around over the sunflower. So, um, and these are my um, my critter cutouts. Um, these are on my website as critter cutouts. They're under art enhancements, and um, what they are is they're little um, different little critters. I have a lot of them, a lot of different kinds. And this one is the flying bird. Can you guys see this? Isn't he cute? And so he's he's made out of uh, corrugated um, cardboard, and they're about four inches. They're, it's, it's corrugated cardboard, and they're pretty steady, sturdy. And so what I'm going to do with him is I'm just going to um, I'm going to take him and I'm going to add some paint to him, just as if he were you know made of anything else. I'm going to. Um, let me see. I don't think I'm going to do him in. I'm going to do him in. Um, I'm going to do. I don't want to do him in blue. Even, even though that's a bluebird. I don't want to do him in yellow either. Because I got yellow on here. I'm going to do him in. I'm going to do him in old 57. Yeah, I know, you know, never heard of a green bird, but, you know, maybe he's a 
I mean, this is 2020. Anything can happen. Might be some green birds out there. So I'm going to paint him. And you can decide which way you want him to go because he's, you know, backwards and forwards. So if I want him flying, you know, this way, I can, you know, put him down like that. Or if I want him flying the other way, I can put him like that. And I think I want him flying this way because I want him to kind of, um, you know, he's heading over the sunflower. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead just as I would. And this is just a little artist brush that I got from Walmart. And I'm just going to paint him as if, you know, I'm just going to put some paint on him. It's cardboard, but it can be painted. So I'm going to put some paint on him. And I'm doing him in 057. And again, I know we've never seen, maybe nobody's ever seen a green bird before, but you know, it's 2020, you can see anything. And so one of the things that I'm going to do though, is I'm going to make sure I get some paint in these little, can you guys see those little, that little ridge there? Because that's, you can, you're going to be able to see that. So I'm just going to take my, the tip of my brush and just dab my paint off in these little ridges. So that, you know, just so the cardboard isn't standing out. I'm just going to dab him all the way around on the, in the, on the little ridge part. Because again, these are made out of corrugated cardboard. And so, you know, you can see the, the corrugated pieces, you know, the corrugated on the inside. And so I want to kind of, I want to um, camouflage that part. So I'm just going to, dab, I'm dabbing in, in between these little pockets here. But these are, I just think these are so cute and they have so much detail. And it, it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of give my board a little bit of a, a 3D effect. And I'm painting it before I get it on here because um, I don't want to get my green on the, on my board. So that's why I'm trying to go ahead and paint it now. If I were painting it the same color as I was going to paint something else, then I could actually just adhere it to it and paint right over it. But, um, but I'm not, so. So there we go. He's painted. Hey, Lisa. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Okay, so my bird is painted. My sunflowers are on. I am sweating because that light is hot. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is, so I got my bird all painted. Here he is. And I'm gonna, I, I intend to have him turned this way, kind of like he's flying into the, um, into the sunflower. So then what I'm gonna do on the back side to, uh, to adhere him to the board is I'm just gonna use my glue here and I like this Eileen's uh, tacky glue. I'm just gonna take some glue, put it on his back. I'm trying to get all the little uh, crevices. So he'll lay pretty flat. Your dog is your best friend. But your dog's best friend is your ex-girlfriend. Because she always has irresistible pepperoni. Be your best there you go. So I got glue all on his back back there. Wipe off this glue thing because 
I'm gonna be able to open the bottle next time if I don't. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take him and I'm just gonna glue him to my, uh-oh. Got a little glue back here. That's okay, I'm not gonna panic. I probably got too much glue on here. So I'm just gonna kinda lay him, can you guys see this? I'm just gonna kinda lay him right down here. And just tap him down. And give him a chance to um to stick to my board. And again, it's cardboard, but um, you know, cardboard can be painted. Um, I mean, it, it is paper, but you know, you don't want to get it, you know, completely saturated. But you can paint it. And I learned this from. Um, uh, actually, one of the other ladies that I watch on YouTube, um, she did some really cool stuff with some cardboard. And um, uh, her, her name is Melanie, and she's from uh, Windmill Vintage Designs. So, um, I mean, she did some big projects with cardboard, cardboard. So, and this is just a little small project. And I'm trying not to smear glue everywhere. So, just to kind of give you an idea, this is kind of what it looks like. So, there's the sunflowers, and there's the little bird. And, yeah, he's a green bird, but, again, this is 2020. And you might see a green bird. Okay. And that just kind of, I think that's a really good look. You know, it kind of gives your um, your board a little bit of a 3D effect with the, with the, um, with the green board, with the green bird. So I'm going to kind of let him sit there for a minute and kind of let him uh, dry and stick to the, um, stick to the board. And um, while he's drying, I'm going to put a couple of these little leaves that I cut off um, with that last sunflower. I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. And just kind of throw them down here somewhere. I think maybe I'll, I think maybe I'll add a leaf over here to this sunflower. Can you guys see this sunflower right here on this end? Kind of looks like the leaf kind of got cut off. So I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a leaf, another limb. So that's what I mean by you can overlap these. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it right here and kind of give this sunflower two. He's going to have another uh, leaf sticking off here. So just put it down there. And again, I, I start off by just rubbing the whole thing down. Giving it one good rub over. And then I'm just going to start peeling it from the top. And as I peel, I push down. And there we go. So there we go. Just gave another little limb there. And again, I just take the paper that it came off of and I just rub it down to make sure that it's, it's uh, rubbed down real good. That's it, y'all. I mean, for the most part, that was a real quick tutorial of uh, using the um, IOD transfers. Um, I use the IOD paint. Um, I use my uh, little um, my little critter cutouts here. And again, you can go on my website and you can find those at. Um, how long have I been live? How can you tell how long you've been live? Because I cannot tell. How long? Anyway, uh, so I use my little critter cutouts. You can find all this stuff on my website. Um, I'm going to put this other little leaf on down here. Kind of look like it's falling, to make it kind of look like some of the leaves are falling off, falling to the ground. Um, and again, I'm just going to rub it all over at first. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just going to put it down on the bottom here, right here. 
Just gonna rub it all over it first. And then I'm gonna pick up the end of the uh, plastic here. And I'm going to, as I rub down, I'm gonna peel back. And then once it's down, I'm gonna take this same paper, I'm just gonna rub over it. Just to make sure it's really, really down. So there we go. So that's what it looks like so far. So now I was well, still not dry. I think I'm, let me take my little hot air thing. Kind of see if I can get my little bird dry. Okay. So he's dry, but he's not quite stuck yet. So I'm going to be really careful, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and even though I use this brush um, for the paint, I'm just going to kind of wipe it off a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and just like I painted this little uh, cardboard bird, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of a sealer on top of him because again, he is paint. Can you guys see me here? Hopefully. It's really, it was hard for me to kind of get my camera set up so, cause I'm not, I don't know really how to do that real well yet. So I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm just running some of my top coat over my painted bird. Just like I did with the, um, with the sunflowers. Because again, he's painted and um, with the chalk style paints, you want to make sure you seal your paint. You seal your paint in. So, okay, so we have, um, so we turn this board into, um, and, and again, I found this board at Goodwill, y'all. I love to go to Goodwill and find stuff. Well, I like to find stuff everywhere. But I like to find these old boards at Goodwill and you know and just kind of redo them turn them into something else because one um and probably foremost is that they're they're real reasonable i think this board costs like three dollars maybe four dollars and it's a good thick size you know and it has these knot holes in it and i really like working with wood it's something about wood i like so um so i like going to goodwill and finding these old boards and redoing them or even canvases, you know, you can paint right over them and put your own design on them, whatever you want, and you get them for a reasonable price. And Goodwill seems to have a whole lot of them, you know, so you have a pretty big selection at Goodwill. So, okay, so I got some top coat on that. I think what I'm gonna do before I hop off is I'm gonna put some of these, um, on this transfer, they have these um, at the back. And see at the back of this transfer, y'all, they have some of these type flowers on here. And then you can um, you can add, if you go further back, there's like a page with um, these little flowers on here. And I think I'm going to take one of these little flowers, but there's also a page, the page I was trying to show y'all was, oh yeah, this little page here where they have these stems. So you can take some of those, these uh, flowers with the, you know, the, the, with, with the heads on them and, and add your stems to them. Like you can take some of these and then you can choose your stems and your leaves and, you know, create your own flower. So I like these little flowers right here. I don't know what they are, but, but I like them. So I'm going to take a couple of those. I'm going to cut out a couple of those real quick. And I'm going to add them to this just to kind of give it a little bit of a height from the bottom. And again, you want to make sure that until you get ready to use your transfer, whatever piece it is, you want to make sure that you keep it, 
you keep this sticky part attached to your um, attached to your paper backing. So, so I'm gonna cut it off first. I'm trying not to cut any of the flowers off. Gonna put it off like that. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna kinda tuck it. I think I'm gonna tuck it um back behind this tall sunflower over here. So let's see what happens. Hi, Mackenzie. How are you? So I'm going to tuck it back behind this sunflower here. And again, like I said, you can overlap these. So this is going to actually overlap overlap this, uh, this stem, this leaf that I put on. And it's also going to overlap the sunflower a little bit. But that's okay. Because, you know, when you see flowers growing out in a field... Sometimes they don't have their own space, you know, they're they're kind of up on one another. So that's what we're gonna do here. So again, I'm just gonna um I go all over it first and just rub the whole thing over. And then I start from my edge. Can you guys see? Let's see. Kind of start from the edge here. Can you guys see okay, start from the edge, and then I start pushing down and pulling up at the same time. And again, when you're putting these transfers on, y'all, make sure that your surface is dry. And I always like to um, to seal my surface up before. Um, you know, before I put my transfers on because they just seem to go, they, they go on better when, when you put the sealer down and let it dry. They seem to, to come off of the sticky, their sticky pad better when it's sealed. So I always seal my surface first and then I put my transfer down. And then I just kind of try to take my time. And it's hard for me to take my time because I'd be like really wanting to rush it, you know, so I can like, I want to see what it looks like. So I really want to go fast. But you kind of have to take your time and make sure that you're trying to get every piece of the transfer down. And if for some reason, you know, you pull back too far and you're like, oh, I didn't get that piece down. Just take your paper. Lay it back down and, and you know, start where the, on the piece that you didn't get down and, and rub it some more and see if you can get it to it here. Because more than likely, the reason why it didn't is just that you were going too fast and you missed it, so. tell when it's done because when it's done um, this this will just lift right off and there we go you guys see that so it's just kind of over behind the sunflower kind of growing you know this is a field and you know things grow in the field so so there we have it so I think that came out really pretty okay so, just to recap what we've done so far, we, um, we picked up this board, and fortunately for me, this board was already uh, stained, and it was already, uh, you know, they had already stained it, 
So all I did was paint over it and I used my water lily um, paint color. And then I took my uh, transfers. At, oh, well, no, I put a top coat on. Make sure you put your top coat on. Make sure all that was dry. And I used my, um, my uh, painterly floral transfers. And I added those. And I took different things off of the sheet. I added my little uh, critter cut out, my little bird here. I added him. And that's pretty much it. And so, you know, this board is almost transformed. So what I will do is I will, um, I'll continue to work on it and I'll add a few more things and then I'll post a picture of it um, um, so that you can see the finished project. So, so thanks you guys for hanging out with me for my very first live, late night live that is. Probably while everybody else is, uh, you know, doing Christmas stuff or, or sleep, which I need to be, um, I'm up doing this. But it was fun. I enjoy that. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, and again, um, check out my website, pecanporchboutique.com, uh, for any of the supplies that you see here. All right? Thanks, you guys. Bye. Have a good night. And a good Christmas. <laughs>